أشهد أن لا أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن علي ولي الله أشهد أن علي حجة الله Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a series of learning from the 14 infallibles. Now, when we used to be children, we used to wonder how was the universe created or who created the universe. So today we're going to learn about the origin of the universe. For such answers in the modern day, we are taught to look towards science. Now, the Big Bang Theory tells us that all of the universe was joined together in one substance until it exploded and the universe has been expanding since. The Holy Quran told us that 1400 years ago in Surah Al-Anbiya verse 30 it states, do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one unit of creation before we clothed them asunder. We made from water every living thing. Will did not then believe? It's a miracle in the power of God that this was stated in the Quran 1400 years ago. Also, the expansion of the universe is specifically mentioned in Quran. Surah 51, verse 47. And it is we who have built the universe with our creative power and keep expanding it. By the talk of expansion, before the 20th century, a good number of scientists used to think and come up with theories about how the earth was expanding, which is obviously wrong. So the origins of the universe. So when was the universe born? According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe came into being 13.5 billion years ago. Also according to the Big Bang Theory, the universe was born out of an atom with two different charges. Now the Big Bang Theory was proposed in 1927. That was 92 years ago. Mullah Imam Jafar Sadiq. Let's see what he told us 1300 years ago. Let's read a paragraph from this book. The great Muslim scientist and philosopher Mullah Imam Jafar Sadiq, chapter 14 of this book, page number 90. Some people might say that it was only guesswork that Imam Jafar Sadiq said that the earth rotates on its own axis. Sometimes it happens that guesswork proves to be correct. But the question arises, as to why no one else had guessed that for such a long time. This proves that he knew the laws of astrophysics, which enabled him to make that discovery. If he had not known these laws, it would have been impossible for him to discover the rotation of the Earth on its axis. This discovery could not have been accidental. One must know the cause to know the effect. Jafar Sadiq did not say what led him to that conclusion. But what he said in respect to many of the problems of physics are exactly according to modern theories of science. His other wonderful theory about the origin of the universe. When scientists read the theory, they confirmed that it totally agrees with the modern theory. However, 
It has the unique distinction that it was enunciated 12 centuries ago, but it agrees with our modern theory. Mullah Imam Jafar Sadiq said as follows, the universe was born out of a tiny particle which had two opposite poles. That particle produced atom. In this way, matter came into being. Then the matter diversified. The diversification was caused by the density or rarity of the atoms. In the above theory, two opposite poles are two negative and positive charges of an atom. The two charges were the cause of the creation of atom. Atom produce matter. The varieties in matter are due to the presence of more or less atoms. No one so far has presented a theory about the creation of universe which is better than Mola Imam Jafar Sadiq's theory. Most significant point in this theory is the description of two opposite poles. Importance of this point was realized when presence of two opposite poles was proved by modern science. Today, it is an undisputed fact in atomic science and electronics. Greek philosophers and the learned scholars of Alexandria had discovered that there are two opposite forces in life. Some of them said that everything can be identified by its opposite, but they themselves do not seem to be sure of what they had said. On the other hand, Jafar Asadik's theory, two opposite forces are clearly and specifically defined. He expressed his views clearly and unconditionally without qualifying his statement with ifs and buts. This shows that he was sure of what he was saying. Every scientist and every scholar who reads Mullah Imam Jafar Sadiq's theories will realize and acknowledge that Jafar Sadiq was a genius and able to make important discoveries because of his great intellectual power. So we conclude in the light of her highest reference, the Holy Quran and the teachings of her sixth Imam, Mullah Imam Jafar Sadiq, that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one unit of creation before God split them asunder. And that's what the Big Bang Theory or the modern science concludes today, which is hardly 92 years ago. Whereas the Holy Quran and the 14 infallibles, peace be upon them, taught us that 1400 years ago, 1400 years ago. So join me, Ashad Ali, in the next episode of Learning from the 14 Infallibles, alayhi salam, peace be upon them. Thank you for watching.